What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, Machine Militia, coming to you. The week before the Arnold Classic, 1831, Nick Wright, Doug Miller. Chelsea? Chelsea lives? She'll be there. Alyssa, Kara, everybody will be in the house at the Tiger Fitness Core Nutritionals HPN MTS Nutrition Booth. PES might even be there with their epic high volume. Anyway, check it out. Red Velvet on tap or whatever flavor I put in the damn machine. Here's the question from Joey. <sighs> okay. Is it bad to stretch before a workout? Um, I've been told you will be prone to tear something. And I said, I, it might decrease strength. That's why I recommend dynamic, not static stretching before training. Then you wrote, I think you should make a video. I never knew about the studies of stretching. I just thought there was only one type of stretching. Ha ha, stretching. Thank you so much, bro. Uh, static stretching would be bending over, touching your toes, not bending over, making your knees touch your elbows. Okay, um, static stretching would be holding things like this. This dynamic stretching would be a plyometric jump would be a kettlebell swing. Dynamic stretching would be mimicking the movements you're about to do, but in a stretching fashion where you're getting lower and getting more flexibility through warming it up. And dynamic stretching has not been shown to decrease strength during training like static stretching has been shown to do. Why static stre stretching decreases strength during your workout? I have no fucking idea. If you're gonna do static stretching, do it post-workout or some other time throughout the day. What I do personally for my workouts is I either do kettlebell swings, goblet squats, or I'll warm up for 10 minutes on the treadmill or a little of each. Usually I'll do 10 minutes on the step mill or treadmill. Step mills are usually taken up. Then I'll go do some dynamic stretching, such as plyometric push-ups, kettlebell swings, goblet squats, and or jump squats where you go down and you jump up. And that's what I find works best. That won't decrease your strength and that will warm you up and decrease your chance of injury. One thing I found is a warmed up muscle is much less likely to tear than a, um, than a non-warm muscle, than a cold muscle. And also I know there was this thing where, you know, Hani and his FST7s like stretch during sets. It fucking promotes fascial growth and yada, yada, yada. I like Hani, I just think that's bullshit. I don't think you're gonna increase your fascia through forced stretching or through stretching between sets. That's like saying that dude on the track who just ran a sprint and does a fucking quad stretch is going to increase the size and fascia of his legs. I just think that's think outside the box. Blood flow is gonna happen. Do the high rep set, you're gonna have blood flow. Stroke your penis, you're gonna have blood flow. At the end of the day, you do not have to worry about that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Pre-workout dynamic stretching, post-workout static stretching, tigerfitness.com, because not snapping your shit up, that's not a game.